Hello friends, welcome to G-Centric. So in this lecture, we will see Milliman's theorem. Okay. So now in this uh, type of circuits like given R1, V1, R2, V2, okay, and so on till Rn and Vn. And at last, at the end of the circuit, there is a load connected. Okay. So this equation or this circuit, so when you see from here, it is similar type, right? So or you can take this as terminal A and terminal B. So now this whole side that is left hand side of the circuit can be replaced with one equivalent voltage and one equivalent resistor. Okay. And this will be nothing but it will be shorted. So when you short this one, what it will be? ISC current. Okay. So when it is ISC current, it is a short circuit current. So you can write the equation as that. See from here also we have I1 current. Okay. And here from this source we have I2 current. And from this source, we have IN current. Okay. So now I can write this IAC, which is the total current or summation of each individual currents. Okay. Up to IN. Right. Now to replace this, we have all, it's nothing but like a Thevenin or the Norton model. So this is terminal A and terminal B. Okay. So now to calculate V equivalent and R equivalent, what, what we can write? V equivalent is nothing but current into resistor. So now I can write current as V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2 plus so on up to Vn by Rn. So this is nothing but current. Okay. So this, this is ISC current. Now I have to write into R. To get the R equivalent, I can write this as to calculate. How do you calculate R equivalent? You will short all the independent sources okay because it is the voltage source you are going to short so you will get because they are in parallel you will get 1 by r okay so now if you see this this is i and this 1 by r when it goes up it will become multiplication with current so basically it is nothing but i into r so this will will keep it as it is we will not simplify in this form because whenever we will solve the equation or uh, whenever we solve the circuit Okay, this should come into our mind. So, how can you write R equivalent? It is nothing but 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus so on up to 1 by Rn. So, this is nothing but G1 plus G2 that is conductance. You can replace that, al <coughs> that also no problem. So, this is with respect to resistors. Now, coming to inductance also, it is nothing but same. Okay. So, how do you write this one? Z equivalent, you can take it as 1 by Z1 plus 1 by Z2, so on up to Zn. And you can write this V equivalent. So since it is no polarity, you can take plus and minus. So this also can be, um, you know, reduced to Thevenin's circuit. So this is V1 by Z1 plus V2 by Z2 up to V by Zn. Next equivalent of this one up to Zn. Okay. So this can be replaced with this formula. So this is a Milliman's theorem. Where does it, uh, application of this Milliman's theorem? We can use it in the power system where, okay, in the practical thing, uh, if, there, if there is a generation station, then you have multiple generators. So that is the representing voltage and current. Okay. So till then you can take on this uh, application of this Milliman's theorem. Okay. And even for reducing the reactance also. So now we will see the question based on this Milliman's theorem. In 2019, based on this theorem, we have got a question. Before that, we will solve two more pro uh, problems, uh, simpler problems. Okay. So that we will get familiarized with this theorem. So we will come to this question 161. So we have to find this I. Our, uh, we can reduce this circuit with V equivalent and R equivalent and with this load 4 ohm. So here we have to find I current, right? So first we have to calculate V equivalent. So nothing but so current will go in this direction. So here it is opposite will take minus and here it is in this direction. So it is nothing but 12 by 6. Then we have minus 12 by 12 plus 12 by 4 and R equivalent is 1 by R. So 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 4. So you get this as 
12 by 6 is 2, 2 minus 1 plus 3 divided by LCM is 12. So you get 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus uh, 3 is 6. So this gets cancelled, 3, 4, 5, 4 into 2, you will get 8 volts. Okay, so this is the total V equivalent. Now we have got this one as 8 volts. We have to find R equivalent. So this R equivalent is nothing but the denominator. 6 by 12 that is 1 by R. So that is 1 by 2. Next you will get R equivalent is equal to 2 ohms. Okay, we have to find I. So I how we will find voltage is 8 divided by total resistor 4 by 3 amperes. Okay, so this is using the Milliman's theorem. Otherwise, you can take this as one node and use the nodal analysis to calculate the current. Okay, so coming to this 160 second question, we have to find again I. So, we will apply V equivalent. So, V equivalent is nothing but here 1 by 90 divided by minus J. Then you have got plus one angle 90 degree, so this is minus 90, here it is minus, okay, capacitor lagging. Then we have plus J and plus one angle nine, 0 degree divided by 1 ohm, divided by 1 by 1, then plus 1 by J minus 1 by J. So this gets cancelled and this uh, minus 90 is nothing but minus J, we can replace it. So you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 1, 3 volts. So, R equivalent is nothing but 1 volt, okay, uh, so 1 ohms. So, this is the denominator for that. Next total replacement is, this is 3 volt. Then we have got here a resistor. So, this is R equivalent, 1 ohm and here also 1 ohm. So, current will be, you have 3 by 2 amperes okay next this was asked in the gate 2019 electrical branch so how you will solve this one v equivalent is 200 by 50 then you have got uh, plus for 160 divided by 40 minus 100 by 25 minus 80 divided by 20 upon 150 plus 1 by 40 plus 1 by 25 by 1 by 20. So, when you solve this V equivalent, you will get 0 volt. So, when it is 0, then current I will also be 0, zero amperes. Okay. So, this is how you will solve the Milliman's theorem. Without Milliman's also you can solve, but it will be time consumed using the nodal analysis. Okay. So, in the next lecture, we will see Telegan's theorem and compensation theorem. So, in this lecture, we will see Telegan's theorem and compensation theorem. So, with gate point of view, this theorem is not at all important, but we will see only the definition so that you will have some knowledge. It will be helpful in the interview point of view. So, it states that algebraic sum of power in any lumped network is equal to 0. Okay. So, algebraic sum of power that is nothing but Vk into Ik, where k starts from 1 to n. So, in that network, what type of network? Only for the lumped network, it will be equal to 0. So, basically, it says the conservation of power and energy. Okay. So, also it is independent to the nature of element. It can be either bilateral, unilateral, anything. Okay. So, now here we have got two different time periods, T1 and then T2. So, at any time T1 also or T2 for varying the voltage and current at any time, okay, it will conserve the power. Okay, so that is the definition of this Telegan's theorem. Apart from this definition, it has got no importance in the gate exam. Coming to the compensation theorem, it is also not so important, but we will understand it. Okay, so now we will understand it with this problem. We have got a circuit, 24 volts, 2 ohm, 6 ohm and 3 ohm. Suppose if I have to change this 3 ohm to say 6 ohm, Okay, I have to use the compensation theorem. So, when I change one, one type of resistor or some element with some value, then the circuit will be affected. Okay, so we have also seen in the previous lectures that if this was 3 ohms, it will give this much current and for 6 ohms, how much it will give. So, for such type of problem, we can apply the compensation theorem. So, now 
our first step is to find the original current. So original current means I3 ohm that is without changing it to 6 ohm. How do we calculate that one? 24 divided by 6 into 3 divided by 9 plus 2. Okay, so 6 into 3 is uh, 18, 2 plus 2 is 4, 24 by 4 you will get 6 amperes. Okay, so I3 ohm is 6 amperes. Okay, so this is the original current. Now we have to find the compensation EMF. Okay, we will denote it with VC. What does this compensation EMF means? We have I3 ohm, okay, the original current into delta R that we have changed. So 6 times we have got 6 minus 3. So you will get this as 18 volts. Okay, so is this correct that we have done? This will be Sorry, so that, uh, okay, so this total current will be 6 amperes, right? So I3 we have to find. So I3 ohm, how do we find? This is 6 amperes, okay? So use the current division rule, 6 divided by 9 into 6. So this is 2, 3, it will be 4 amperes. So here it is 4 ampere, here also 4. So 3, 4 is it will be 12 volts. Okay. Next our third step is to develop the modified circuit. Inactivate independent sources. So we have to inactivate the independent sources. So I will draw it here. Okay. So I will short circuit this one. 2 ohm, 3 ohm and we have to replace it with new voltage. Okay. So this is 6 ohms. Then we have got uh, this as 6 ohm and this is 12 volts we have this as 2 ohms okay so here in this case we have to find total current i and in i 2 ohm as well as in i 6 ohm okay so for the total current how do we find so 12 divided by uh, now which is in series okay you can take anything 6 into 2 we have it in parallel so when 6 and 2 is in parallel, 6 into 2 divided by 8 plus 6, 4, then this is 3, 2, 6 to the 12, 12 plus 3, 15. Okay, so this is uh, 3 is 5 is you will get 6 by 5 amperes. Okay, so this is the total voltage from here. It is negative, so you will get minus 6 by 5 amperes. Okay, so using the current division rule, you can find 2 ohm as well as 6 ohm currents. Okay, so this is the compensation theorem where it is not much useful or applicable because you can solve this even using the nodal analysis also. Okay, so this completes our unit 10 which was on network theorem. Okay, so our, our important is only the first four theorems that is superposition, Thevenin, Norton and maximum power transfer as well as uh, to some extent reciprocity theorem. So this completes unit 10 then we, in further uh, lecture we will start with the transient analysis which is the very much important part of this network theory. Okay, thank you.